guys, this is Jane. Welcome to Glam Lab. I am so excited. This is going to be amazing. We are going to unbag, I guess, my Korean haul. Now this stuff is straight from Korea. I haven't handled it, touched it. I opened one little box just to see what it was. It was a sample of something. I'm just going to show you what I've got to play with. I'm going to test it out over the month and I'm going to bring you my spotlights. So this is going to be my spotlight on Asian beauty series. And we are going to be testing the very best of K-beauty. I say the very best. It is what's current and hot and fun. And these were gifted to me. So I have so much um, gratitude for the person who gave them to me. You know who you are. Okay. So first we have, because I am a mask queen, I was going to say a bad word, um, but you know, YouTube is clamping down. So this is the Luminous Hydrogel Mask with skin firming and radiance effects. It is made of gold, y'all. It's got luminous gold. It's got the infusion of the energy of jewels. So I'm excited to rip into this box and try it out. Ah, love me a mask. Okay, we've got so much to go through, so I'm going to go through them pretty quickly. This is a natural sun, no shine, hydrating sun cream in SPF 40. And it says PA triple plus. So I think that means it's a physical sunscreen, which is great. Okay, next we have from Etude House, which is one of their high street brands, is the Precious Mineral any cushion, and this is going to be an SPF 50, which is amazing. And it looks like this. The thing I love about the packaging in Korea is it's all so cute. You probably can't see this. I'm gonna just do that. Let the camera hopefully focus on it so you can see. But everyone is now familiar with cushion. Okay, ignore any growling. It's not my stomach. It's Lucy in the background. Okay, so excited to try this cushion. And I'm gonna go moving right along here because um, we have a lot to get through. So this was the, whole, the, the big kahuna present. It's from Suwa Su. And this is the First Care Activating Serum. Um, it's an essential regimen, first step serum, formulated with their famous balancing complex, which they titled J-A-U-M, I don't know how to pronounce that, JOM. It is supposed to assure optimal skincare results by restoring balance to the skin. So this is a very heavy, I'm assuming there's a glass bottle inside. Yes, oh my goodness, this is very substantial. And it's Solasu, like their stuff looks old school, but it's old school because it has worked for like generations. So yes, I'm saying yes to Sulwasu. This stuff is probably gonna be amazing. Okay, so many things to get through. Okay, these are from Etude House as well. These are called Baby Shu. Shu, they use French a lot in Asian skincare and makeup products. Um, actually, everyone uses French, but Shu means soft in, Fran in French. Um, and these are bases for your skin. They're SPF 33s. Oh, it's a siren. Wow, it's just a madhouse today. So this is a peach tint and this is a mint tint. And I think these are going to be both a bit correcting for um, different skin shades as well as give you a bit of moisture and tint as well. So they're not gonna come on green or peach or at least when they melt into the skin, they're going to be skin-like. So next we have the the other amazing thing about shopping in Korea, not just ordering, even when you order it actually, they often throw in some of these freebies, but they are sample heaven. Um, so in this cute little bag, I mean, I didn't know what was going to come in this. It's very misleading. I thought it was there was going to be some like iPhone accessories, but these are the softest um, cotton pads for your serums and essences and whatnot, and in, in Asia, they often make their, their pads a little bigger usually, and you hold them like this. Well, I'm actually doing it backwards, but you do it like this, and you apply products like that. You don't 
I mean, I don't know. It's just, I guess they're all about balance and perfection and they found that this mode of application works really well. So these are super soft and they can they come in handy. Um, these are trial tints, so they're foundation samples from Etude House. One of the things that I find lacking in drugstore um, makeup in the US is you can't try it on. I mean, so, so you, it's really hit or miss for finding your shades. Um, I really wish they had more ability to, more abilities to try on, test, and sample different items in the store before you actually make your purchase. Um, so they often hand out teeny tiny testers and in hopes that you'll find your tint, you'll enjoy the product and come back and purchase it. So that is wonderful. There are just some cleansing oils in here that are super handy. I mean, you can take these on the plane, they're tiny. And um, this is the Honey Sarah line from Etude House. And the last time my husband went to Korea, he actually brought me a couple of samples from this line. So I'm excited to have these to try again. Um, because they worked really nicely. Honey is a natural antibacterial and it is super nourishing and also helps with lines. So it's very um, anti-aging. Um, this is just the cutest little beauty tool ever. I have no idea how to use it, so I'm going to have to search some YouTubes to find how to use it, but it is shaped like this little um, do, do, do pelican. No. Yeah, that's a pelican, right, honey? Is that a pelican? And it's pink and it's cute. And this is flamingo. basically, oh, it's a flamingo, a pink flamingo. Oh my gosh, I just failed. Fail. Um, my dad loves birds and it hasn't translated. So this is to shape your eyebrows. So it's an eyebrow shaping tool. There's a teeny razor on the pelican's, oh, the flamingo's beak. So I don't know how to use that. I'm probably going to cut my face. This is going to be like Edward Scissorhands up in here. But um, I will check that out. Okay, so this is from Pony. I don't know if you guys know who Pony is. My sister-in-law actually introduced me to her channel and um, there's often English translations. She makes the most amazing transformations. You've got to watch the one where she transforms into Kylie Jenner or Taylor Swift. I mean, I was like, what? How? And she does it so fast and they fast forward through it and you're just like, okay, I know that just happened, but oh my God, I gotta watch it again to just figure out how she did that. So she has her own makeup line in Korea and apparently it's very, very, very popular. These are Shine Easy Glams in Pink Bloom. So I think that this is a four pack, so it's a quad. And I believe these are eye colors. So I'm really, really excited. And I will I will show you guys that in a later video when I've tested it out and maybe do a tutorial. Here, my first tutorial. Um, this is another Etude House product. It's a tinted brow gel um, that looks like, it looks like it's gonna be a match for me, shade three. This is a Perry's Ink Velvet, Peri Para. This is actually something that's come over to the States. I've heard people talking about it. The shade is in Love Sniper Red. I'm just gonna show you guys because I think the packaging is kind of interesting. It looks like it's going to be some sort of a skincare product with a dropper here, but this is actually a lip product. So you see it's got a doe foot applicator and it just smells faintly of like cherry. It is, um, I think, going to be a high-powered stain. So that is pretty cool. Um, this is a nail color. I don't know where it, wait. Nature Republic. So that is so pretty. I'm going to have to pop that on before it gets too cold so I can enjoy that beautiful coral color. Um, let's see, but this is the Bling Bling Eye Stick from Etude House. I think it's an eyeshadow stick. Oh yeah, that is gorgeous. I don't know if you can see that. I will have to test that out for you guys, but it is a pure champagne color. Let's see if I can, oh wow, that's, that's beautiful. It is, it would really pop on darker skin, but it is so, pretty and soft on pale skin. I don't know if you can see that. I probably should go like this. Can you see that? 
Awesome, so that is lovely, I can't wait. That can probably be worn all over the eye or used for the corners or the middles. You could probably even get away with using this on top and the middle of your bottom lip for a, a shine boost. And it also has a plumping effect when you place something right here um, in the middle of your bottom lip. This is another lip product. It's the Apricot Stick, also from Etude House. And let's see, expires in November 2018. I love the longer formulas. You can, you know, you can wear these a little bit longer. It has a nice flat top. Oh man, this is nice. Oh wow, it's a nice sheer wash of color. It's, it is very, very soft coral. So apricot is, I guess, a good term for that color. Really, really pretty and super hydrating. I would totally, it's a little shiny, but if you set it with a little powder, you could even use that on your cheeks as a nice natural flush. I think that's, that's a nice little stick to travel with. It could have multiple purposes. Um, two more, we're almost done, you guys. Okay, this is a face designing brightener from Etude House. And it's so cute, it draws in the, it has a drawing of the, the directions on the back with a little face and it shows the directions that you're supposed to apply the product. Let me see. Oh wow, okay, I thought this was like a refill but it actually has a little compact. This is so adorable, look at that, pink and black. I just think that's so chic. It is so, so pretty. That is amazing. So I'm really trying to build my highlighter collection because I feel like I've come late to the highlighter game. I'm hoping that horse has not left the race because I don't think that ever will happen actually. They keep coming out with different types of highlighters that are just so flattering on every skin tone. And I don't know, I think it's my new favorite product um, to play with besides masks, of course. I love me a mask. Okay, oh, okay, I kind of fed into that, but this is a mask. It is from Skin Food, which I'm dying to try. I've heard so many good things about this brand. Oh, you guys, this is a black sugar mask. You wash it off. It is food therapy, special food ingredients for the skin. Contains many nutritive ingredients, such as fresh plants, fruits, etc., to keep our skin healthy. So this kind of reminds me of Lush. Um, so I'm really excited to test this out. Um, this is this is mineral enriched Brazilian black sugar. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Um, now a trick with masks, you guys, um, if something has clay in it, you don't wanna wait until your whole mask becomes hard. When it starts to tighten up and get hard, if it's not a peel off mask, that's when you wanna wash it off. And you don't have to use water to wash it off, especially if your skin feels tight when you use water to rinse your face after cleansing. You can also use a toner um, to wash the mask off. Um, get Grab some cotton balls or you know one of these one of these cotton pads and it may take a little longer but your skin will feel refreshed and one of the things that's terrible after taking a mask off that's supposed to have all of these wonderful properties to benefit your skin and then putting water on if water is going to be irritating to dry sensitive thinner skin you can use a toner that's going to be refreshing so that is my little tip for the end of this video. Thanks for watching, you guys. This is Jane Valentine with Glam Lab, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. And the Koreans. my hair. I apparently do have someone on hair police. I've got the fashion police back there. It's my husband. Thank you, husband, for telling me my hair's a mess.